What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Aramis, and today I'm doing another review from an AliExpress company. Today's review is from Glamstar Hair. This is their Malaysian straight hair in the lengths 22, 22, 20, and a 16 inch frontal. Again, this is Malaysian straight. I'm going to go ahead and make a disclaimer. This hair was sent to me by Glamstar Hair, but I'm going to be an honest in all of my reviews because I do not want you guys to go out and spend money on things that are not worth it. As you guys know, Malaysian hair is much different than Brazilian hair. It's a lot more silky. It moves a lot better. It's a lot heavier than Brazilian hair. So because of that, I wanted to make it a wig instead of get it a sew-in because I didn't want it to be sewn in my head and then just me get tired of it because Malaysian hair is I'm going to be honest, it's way heavier than what I'm used to. So let's get into the packaging. This hair came DHL about four days after she sent me the confirmation that it was sent. It came pretty quickly. Um, standard packaging, you know, plastic bags, really soft, really silky to the touch. Did not have a single smell. Um, the lengths were, the only thing annoying to me about the packaging was that the lengths were on the bag and not like the band around the hair. Meaning it was like once I threw the bag out, like I forgot which length was what. I also wanted to add in here that the beards were constructed really nicely. They did not get in the way at all when I was trying to make the wig. So yeah, really appreciate that. The frontal was really nice. It had the nice um, wiggly line for the hairline, which is always helpful. So that was nice, easy to pluck and everything. So um, also the hair came with some jewelry. I wore the choker in my last video. It's actually quality jewelry. It's not some cheap jewelry. So yeah, I appreciate them for that. That was nice. So let's get into the specs of this hair. So I've had this hair for about a, a week. I wore it the first day I got it. Like I washed it, sewed it onto this dome cap, made it into a wig and started wearing it immediately just because I had to take the last hair that I wore out like ASAP. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but as I'm running my hands through the hair, I get little snags here and there. And I'm not really sure why that is. It could be because this wig is not sewn down. It's like something that I take out at night and just throw in a corner and then brush out and go like I didn't even have to straighten it for the video it's just that's the benefit of having straight hair like this hair stays straight and because it's Malaysian hair it's heavy and straight so it's definitely stays straight so but yeah I don't really know why it does that but I get these little snacks but I mean it's not doing it now but the snags are not like irritating like it's just something I noticed this hair absolutely positively does not shed not one bit y'all not one single bit I maybe got like three strands of hair when I was washing it haven't had any hair shed recently like this hair when it comes to shedding a1 a1 so I don't get any tangling or matting like I said it's just minor snags and it's not really so much in the back it'll be like towards like the middle to the ends of the strands maybe it's because it's so long I don't really know um why it snags every now and then but it does just me being honest also this hair has a lot of body like a lot of movement my friends always ask me like Amos what kind of hair is that I'm like it's Malaysian it's a difference between Malaysian and Brazilian in my opinion Brazil Brazilian isn't doesn't move as much but it matches the african-american hair texture a little better so that's my opinion on the differences and this hair is actually really affordable i was looking at the prices and the bundle deals and you know sometimes on aliexpress you'll have companies that'll have frontals with closures and bundles a whole package deal for like 140 dollars and you're like how in the world like it's almost too cheap like this company isn't too cheap but it ain't like super duper expensive either if you get what i'm saying so it makes sense to buy it. So if you want to see any future videos on this hair and you want to know how it's holding up, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. Update my Snapchat all of the time when I'm doing hair and makeup. Also, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing maybe two or three more videos on this hair alone. So subscribe so that you guys can keep up with this hair before you purchase it. I will also have the link down in the description just in case you want to go ahead and purchase it. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a cute thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.